It's the perfect morning light in the kitchen. Look who I see first thing in the morning. Oh, oh poor Molly. I can't wait till that cone can come off. She hates it. Morning. Morning. <laughs> How is she? I saw her jumping and jumping. It was so cute. It's breakfast, so she's happy. Oh, it's food. She's like us. Yeah, it's like us. I thought you stayed over last night. We did. And you were still locked out. What? Well, tell them who we're going to get the key for the plumbers. Oh, okay, okay. You're making coffee for your father. You're a good son. He'll take it to bed. He'll take um, his and he'll take one for Mama. <laughs> and I'll have it in their room together. But at least he's, he can come downstairs and... And he'll, it'll, he'll know it's all ready for him. Yeah. It's so good having them here. It is wonderful having them here. It really is. So you reckon I'll see your father soon, snuffling around looking for coffee? Yeah, you should do. Okay. Do. Doodles. I just opened the fridge to get the milk for my tea. And, I mean, does this strike you as unusual? There's a whole bouquet in the fridge. Why do I have a bouquet? I mean, it smells amazing. It's coriander. Does it just live there now? I'm trying not to eat till this afternoon, so this is not helping. Step away from the crumpets. And no milk. I have at least found milk, so it's good news for the tea. Morning. Good to see you. Are you about to feed the yeah. chickens? Right, so I thought I'd come with yeah, you sure, today. I forget you will be. Look, look. <laughs> Someone knows. Hello. <laughs> there goes Dr. Doolittle. Ruby's really making his presence known. Yeah. No, you two, this is not for you. Yeah, that's why we're feeding him in here and like behind this thing because otherwise they're... Yeah, they try and eat it. He is such a beautiful cat. Yeah, and his eyes are amazing. Yeah. So Do you want to show everyone your eyes, Ruby? Nope, Ruby's... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thank you. Heating engineer's just arrived, so things hopefully going on there. Spud and Ludwig fed. Do they not realise they're supposed to be inside the chicken no, coop? For some reason, they don't really like this. Place. No. I don't know if all of you remember that this was the most adorable, the tiniest of the chicks, the little spotted chick. Yeah. Now look, a magnificent chicken. Almost the size of Olive. Is Olive um, as angry as usual? Yeah. But now they are trained to go <laughs> Come on, you know where you're supposed to be, you two. Oh, they were all out. You're like, but how to get inside? Yeah, know. well, the food's on the inside and we're on the outside. Yeah, see? Silly like, chickens. Hurrah. One more. Like, literally walking the wrong way. No, come back. No. <laughs> A little bit grumpy looking, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> yeah, a little bit dinosaur angry, and I'm glad she's that size. Come on. Right, everyone now has access to food. How many males are there? Um, three, I think. Oh, that's good, because actually yeah. we've, we know people who want two, so we just need to find a home for one more I cockerel. I think already said that uh, she found... Uh, oh, thank goodness, because yeah. I was really worried that we'd end up with so many males from the chicks, but just three is great. Fine, but I know, but it's always like that it's when you get better. But if you don't get it seen to, then you won't know what it was. I think it's really important. So it's being sorted now, but I feel fine. So Philip's taking you. Yes. All right. Bye, darling. Hi. Bye. It's very loud in here. It's oh, it's Renee. Morning, Renee. Hello. Did you find the coffee Amory made for you? Oh no, not yet. He's made a whole pot of coffee for you. Well, and Tatinette. She's having lemon tea. Oh, very nice. Oh, help you. Morning, Natty. Really good, and you? Very well, thank you. Was Renee the water? He can't be slacking. 
laundry? Yeah, Philip definitely left without the laundry. Hope Should I give him a quick back. ring? Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, he's dropping Marie off at the doctor's and he is going to come straight back for the laundry, so don't worry. <laughs> yeah, no. It's okay, he's coming back for it. See you later. Bye. It's been relentlessly sunny for days and days and finally we're getting some rain, which is probably great from the garden, but feels a bit strange indoors. I've had to put a cardigan on to work. It's outrageous. I decided the best way to feel snugly and warm again would be with a warming facial. Now, I know I've spoken to you all about the UFO 2 by Froyo Sweden before, but this is the latest in the UFO range. It is the UFO 3 by Froyo Sweden. And I'm very lucky because Froyo have offered to sponsor this video with this ad. And I've been so excited to tell you about this. This is a deep facial hydration device. And I really do mean deep hydration. I've mentioned before that my main problem with my skin is that it gets really dry. And I love this so much that I've started using it every day now. I'm using one of my favorite of their masks today, which is the coconut oil mask, because it's also got a lot of sheer butter in so it's very very rich for the skin and the thing that I really love about the UFO 3 is that you don't always have to use the app if you're in offline mode so I can just switch it to the red setting because the red LED light and the warming hyper infusion really help the oh the mask to penetrate deeper into the skin oh, I just feel so wonderful that has completely warmed me up and feels amazing. And now I'm switching to the green light, which helps to reveal a clearer complexion and it's cooling. So it's perfectly deep huffing for the skin. And all the while it's relaxing me and boosting my circulation with its T-Sonic massage. So that's been my routine every day for a few weeks now. And I've seen such a huge difference in my skin. If you'd like to try it for yourself and I can't recommend it highly enough, then click the link in the description box below. And on top of that, Forio is offering the first hundred of you 21% off the UFO3. That's been very relaxing, but I do actually have to get back to work now. So I'm off to the desk. Tati Nut and Pavlina are getting the bread. Bread Lady does the delivery a couple of times a week. So on the days we don't go to the boulangerie, it comes to us. There's always fun little nibbles when you're in the house, Tati Yes, we get the Saint-Jacques. Scallops. Your old tuna. And mackerel. Okay, yes, I can't say no to any of this. And how did the laundry run go? Fun. Good. And is Marie back yet? Yes. Well. Did, yeah, it went well. Good. Is Amory on the phone to Natty because yes. she's not here at lunch and he can't bear to have lunch without her? How can you hear him? I can hear he's speaking to her and I know him. <laughs> the thought of lunch without Natty is impossible to him. Oh it's so sweet. Okay, glad bread lady came. Oh, you've taken the pink up a notch, a vision in fuchsia. <laughs> Never know what I'm going to see, it's a joy. You were like... I, in the nook of the north, are you that cold? Yeah, I know. It's a bit chilly today. It's, it's so not nice. like the other days. No, I need a cardi. It's shooting. It's, 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 there's it's nothing to see. see. Amory, you can film when there's nothing to see here. You can jump first and check the documents. I forgot to boil the water. Don't you? <laughs> Look, the water had barely touched the tea bag. It seems silly to waste it. I put it back in the kettle. It's fine. It's fine, Amory. <laughs> Good as new, huh? Well, Come on, that is good as new. And that's a lovely cup of tea. Are you convinced it's going to come out brown? Good, but I got away with it. Just no one tell Maria. <laughs> I've never seen that done before. Big excitement because the new log burner for the winter salon's just been delivered. The delivery lorry actually used its tail lift to just ingeniously slot it into our van until Amory was ready to move it. So now it's going from the van to the digger and somewhere else. I can't wait to get my first proper look at it. So, so far I'm liking the colour, Philip. Are you doing this for more structural integrity? I just, yeah, I don't want it to... Because it was cracking pretty horribly. Yeah. Amory is going to try and slot that neatly through the door and onto the trolley. What could possibly go wrong with a chandelier in the way?
get our first proper look. Oh yeah, I like it very much. It's very simple, very nice. We're gonna try and lift it with the digger again and spin it. Because at the moment, as it is, it cannot go through that door. It's a nice one. It's really nice. I find it very elegant. It looks beautiful here. Oh, it's like right here, yeah, this is this is a spot for it. <laughs> Just at the foot of the stairs. <laughs> Heat rises, so it's perfect. Amory's managed to elevate it again and we have realized that in fact it's bolted to the pallet. So not as easy as we thought, but luckily we do have Molly on hand and she has got the situation under control. Just as you're tidying one side, we're making a mess on the other. You can get past, don't worry. <laughs> I'm sure I'll tell you up tomorrow. Hey, guys. Bye. You okay? Yeah. Okay. What's this? I don't know. Yeah, just here. It's fine. What? Look right there. No need to go crazy. Just walk into. There, this is good. This is excellent. <laughs> LG. Voila. Leave it strapped. Leave it strapped so nobody can... That's not going to go anywhere. I think we all need to lie down in a dark room. Oh, just thinking about Christmas now. How that's going to feel. <laughs> oh, that was dramatic. It's all right, we don't need the kindling yet, Amory. We've got to actually <laughs> connect it first. Andrew, I am so excited about this. But we've got you, Chef. Looking very clean and magnificent. And look at how good his pupusa. I'm allowed to, I'm allowed his to be pupusas. His pupusas. What are they? I don't know what a pupusa is. Well, this one's just a bean now. one, just for filling. <laughs> You're great at making them, apparently. But so they're white right little brilliant. filled things. He'll show you a full one now. Okay. All right. That's okay. Philip's not because it's bean only. Okay, so you're, I'm going to watch the creation of a pupusa. Pu 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 okay. Do what? a cheese and bean or queso frijol. A pupusa. Okay. Handle your ball. And once you've handled your ball, you <laughs> drop it in some fluid. And once your ball's in some fluid, yeah, roll it around, you know, massage it. Who put Amory in charge of this? And then, Me. And then you get your Look fluid in your are. hand, throwing it around a little bit, play with it, talk to it, make it feel wanted, needed, loved, cared for, you know, might have a bit of rhythm. This is embarrassing. Yeah. yeah. You raised him. We are not happy with this. You're missing the slap. Then you've got to slap it. You've got to slap your ball to flatten him out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There are other online videos on YouTube telling you how to do this. <laughs> and then you and it's in Spanish. Hand, handful of cheese. Sque you know, squeeze it. You know, really, really just squeeze it. And then you throw it in your ball, your flattened ball. And then you just have a choice. Which one do you like? What are, what are they? Bean, chicken. Chicken, chicken, bean. chicken, please. Chicken. My hands are clean, don't worry. I've been handing my ball, but there's cleats. And you squeeze that on top of the cheese. And then you flap it over. Yeah. Yeah. Flap it over. Flap it over. Flap it over. Flap it over. And then you make your ball again. You're getting round, you're getting smooth. And then you start getting your mouth. Back to the slappy, slappy, slappy. Slap your ball. Slap your ball. Slap it. Slap it. Slap it. Slap it. Can you deal with him? <laughs> And then where we go? <gasps> and then the cheese starts oozing out. Everything oozes. No one told me the cheese started oozing out. That changes everything. And then you've got Thank the you. and the salsa to go on top and go. Great, what's well, tomorrow night? <laughs> 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 We're having mystery rose. Oh, a case of this was delivered. In fact, a couple of cases of this were delivered with no note. We didn't order it. It turned up. And it's beautiful. So, mystery rosé? I would love some. <laughs> Absolutely. So a huge thank you to whoever sent this rosé. Thanks, Andrew. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. And thank you to the giver of the mystery wine. Thank you all for joining us for this week of dailies from Leland. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of the patrons of the Chateau Diaries who make this possible. And today, a special thank you to Yanabu, 
Brian O'Neill, Morgan Lawley, and Angel Leonard. Thank you so much for supporting us. Lots of love to everyone and look forward to seeing you again on Sunday.